right, our August <coughs> 3D challenge, August challenge was a 3D challenge. And I'm going to do this now for the third time. The first one I did here, um, the audio, the lighting was so bad that uh, I had to scrap it. I really, really liked how the skull came out, but oh well, that's life when you do this stuff. Okay, second one. Love it. Love the colors. Love how it came out. Um, thought everything was great. Went to check my video. It had only had recorded like two minutes. So that was a bust. So now, here we go. And this one, the first one didn't have a name. And this one is Face Off in New Mexico, if you kind of get the drift. Um, so now, because I'm frustrated, we're going to do another one. This one's called Hill of Bones. Doesn't amount to a Hill of Bones. Anyway, what I have in here is actually, uh, could be also called Predator and Prey. This is a coyote skull. I have a scapula, a um, vertebrae from a calf, um, a jawbone from a hog, and then uh, this little skull, I found it in the wood pile. I believe that it is a skull either a skunk or a possum. I'm not sure because most of the teeth were gone and it was pretty hard to identify. So yes, I have a lot of bones and things around my house. I live on a large piece of property and um, all you have to do is is walk and you can find some bones. Now the calves, not so much. They came from a friend of mine who has, who raises uh, calves and had one that um, succumbed to an illness so she has a spot where she goes and puts them for me so I can have the bones. Same with the, the pig jaw, um, uh, same thing. And I think that's a pig jaw. Actually, it may not be. Maybe the calf. Uh, maybe a jaw of the calf. Not quite sure and I'm not going to worry about identifying for you. It's a farm animal, domestic farm animal um, that died on her place and she puts them up where I can do. So what I'm going to do is I got everything all mixed up as usual I use um, uh, I only put a little blaster in the uh, white only my whites in a tube because in a bottle because I'm going to spray it I use the XIM uh, latex extender and nothing else I don't use water or anything I'm going to do it as a dirty pour um, so we're just going to see what happens here but i think what i'm going to do before i do that is i'm going to squirt a little bit of the white on top of what i already have um, i went ahead and and painted them put a little bit of white paint on them uh, but i'm going to go ahead and and put some of this and this is a different brand of white paint so i have um, a little bit of gloss medium in it too because the the paint these masters touch for some reason not from some reason, but they are a glossy finish. So I try not to mix them because I don't have to varnish it if I use them. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this because like I said, it does have the blaster in it. So there'll be some places where uh, the silicone will hit. I'm hoping and it'll, it'll push down and it's just giving me something to kind of work with. And I was going to do it as a dirty pour, but a lot of times it's almost easier to pour them and put them on. I'll, I'll start with a dirty pour though. So I've got, um, it's pretty red and they have to be a little bit thicker uh, for the skull because they have, or for the 3Ds because they have a tendency to pour. I mean, it's not too much thicker, but it is, it is a little bit thicker than you would normally um, use on a, on a pour. And I'm just going to put, I'm not going to put it all in there because I may come back and use some of it. So I've got this red and then this is, um, I believe, Thalo Turquoise. Um, and I'm just going to kind of put it in there. I may squirt a little white in here as well. Um, my dog is whining. I'm going to put a little of this. This is that Lumiere colors, and I really love them. It's a uh, rose gold. I'm hoping we don't lose it. I didn't do, use much of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some black in. And it's permanent black and they're all the same brand of paint that uh, except for the white and the um, that little rose gold but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of we're going to just see what we get I was hoping to not get anything too muddy um, this is that Viridian color I'm going to go ahead and squirt a little bit of this in here and let's see what we get 
I may shake it up. Not shake it, but I might jiggle it a little bit. Ooh, it's going to be interesting. All right, so here we go. I'm going to start up here on the top and just roll right down the middle. And I'll probably have to go back and add more um, to this. Of course, I'm going to make a big mess, but that's okay because that's what we like, right? I may go ahead, I may just do this and then go and add some that's not a dirty pour. Just kind of start throwing colors in there on everything. Um, maybe brighten it up a little bit. This should continue to run. Except I really like how that looks. If you see the, the really kind of cool patterns on there. What shall we do? What shall we do? Um... I think we're going to go ahead and just continue as a dirty pour. I don't think I'm going to put so much black in this one. Let's put some more. I don't really see the rose gold. I don't know. Let's just drip some on there and see what it does. Because I really like this color and it doesn't. See, the thing with them being thicker it takes them a little longer to, to move uh, down the vertical surface. So you get a little more. You get a little more color. I mean, a little, not color, but I don't know. Otherwise, it slides off if you don't. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put all this. I'm going to go ahead and layer this in here. We're just going to put it in there. And I'll pour it. I'm just going to pour like a crazy fool. If it's a fail, it's a fail. It wouldn't be the first one. But I'm not making it again, so this video better keep going. Let's go ahead and I'm going to just go ahead and pour all this in here. Get some different, my dog is whining. My dog is always whining. Oh, I hope that will run down in there. I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of white. I said the white is the only one that has the um, the blaster in it, the uh, and I hate these little things because it leaks out the top. Sometimes the lid pops off, uh, and then I have a big mess, which I think has happened on a previous video where the lid just totally popped off. And since I do really, I'm not trying to cover the whole canvas. I do want to cover all my bones, but I don't want to cover the whole canvas. So we're gonna keep. And this one's gonna be pretty dark compared to some of the others, but that's okay. Let's just get this out, and I hate doing this while you guys are watching, but I should just put it all... You know, I never make enough paint, either. That's one of my little downfall things here. So, hopefully today we have no technical difficulties, and I actually can get a video. Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be phenomenal if I actually got a whole video and I'm going to check on it, make sure it's still recording. Yes, it is. Okie dokie. Then I'm going to move you a little bit forward here. All right. Okay. So, let's do. Yeah, put a little black in there. See, I'm always undecided. I never know what I'm doing until I do it. And I'm going to look, my hands are all black. All right, so let's see. Where do we got some places that I missed? We need some color. Let's put some here. Well, let's see if we can't get it to run more off on this. See the fun part with these. Then they totally blend in and you can't see them. It's a problem with 3D. With the 3D pores is a lot of times they, they blend in so much you can't see the distinction between the pieces. So I really don't want to completely obliterate what I just did. But it would be nice if that really blended in together. Let's put some down here. And let's see. Oh, our little skull guy, he needs some more. I really like that Viridian color. So cool. So pretty. Um, so since we're going to call this one... Predator and prey. <laughs> All right, let's hope we got enough. 
pieces are not going to be completely covered, but I'm not going to complain or cry or anything. I'm just going to pour it on here. And I think some of the first 3Ds I did, I just put the paint in a squirt bottle and um, I didn't uh, I didn't do dirty pours. I just threw it on there. And I forgot to turn my lights on. Isn't that wonderful? The things I forget to do. Absolutely fabulous. Story of my life. But all right, so let's let this sit a second. I'm gonna turn you out for a second and let it sit because I may have to come back and put some more paint on it. Um, I'm going to uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna throw this upside down right here for just a second, and then I'm gonna tilt it and make it go all this way and cover this up, maybe. No, yeah, I kind of don't want to. I kind of just want to hold it upside down and let it all come out. But I'm gonna shut you off for just a second, and then we'll edit it together so we can get the rest of this paint out of here. And I may make up some more paint. Um, kind of squirt it around. Uh, Alright, well I'm going to shut you off for a second while I get myself some more paint made up and then we'll continue. Okay, I'm going to add some, um, look I'm moving my thing. I'm going to add some more just individual colors to it I think because I don't, I don't really like how this is here. It's kind of cool but it's, I'm not overly thrilled. Let's put it that way. So <clears throat> I'm going to just going to pour a bunch more paint over. I did go ahead and mix up some of this here. It's got a lot more white in it and then I'm going to throw some individual colors on it to, to uh, try and really kind of lighten up, lighten it up a little bit maybe. That's really going to slide. And then I went ahead and made some, I made some colors up. Um, I actually don't even mind if this it's um it's almost Christmassy though with the uh I'm gonna just throw some of that. I know y'all this is a crazy mess. Alright, now that's good enough. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kind of drizzle some of these individual colors on here. Give us some more solid colors in there maybe they'll blend in pretty good I mean they'll stand out on the mixed colors they'll stand out a lot better there actually is quite a bit of action going on and where I have all that white hmm. surprisingly enough and I did this one a little bit thinner hoping that it would uh, slide a little more I know y'all think this is crazy stuff. It's not as easy as you think. A lot of times the paint will slide off some of your surfaces. <clears throat> and then it's, he's a little wiggly in it. I almost feel like I should add more, um, Add a little blaster to this one. I'm gonna add a little blaster. To, I mean, a little silicone to my red as well. Let's see what we get. I think that'll be kind of fun. And then we'll go back and. <clears throat> yes, it's a noisy dog. I know I have noisy dogs. The hardest part is the delineation between the parts pieces um, your multiple pieces if my dog will get comfortable she'll be quiet in her little kennel and I don't I'm making a mess yes I know I always make a mess that's nothing new and I'm making a noise go so, see lay down she's in the wrong kennel She's a big dog and she's in a little teeny tiny one. She doesn't fit very good. All right, let's see. Now, all right, now I'm going to start adding the red because I made some red as well. <clears throat> and the red has some blaster too. 
Let's see what happens. Let's see. There's a big doll in a little teeny kennel over here, and she does not fit. Just doesn't fit. So I like the dropies. Droppies. Oh yeah, pretty cool. This is gonna be a long video. Cat dog got out, and <laughs> she decided she didn't fit good enough. So I guess now I have a whole collection of bones, which is okay. I like them. Obviously, I've got them all over my house. Well, I have them outside. They're not in the house. Well, no, now they're in the house. I was going to say they're not, but they're in the house now. Because I've got them all over. Oh, that was interesting. I'm going to go back with some of this white, too, I think, again. I've got paint all over my hand. This is wonderful. Let's put this in here. Let's squirt a little more white on here. And then we shall let it sit, and then we'll take some pictures, and we'll see what we get. I actually may even add some more to the to the blaster. Made a more blaster to the light. I see spots where we need to move it down. It needs to move. Hopefully follow that. Kind of a zigzaggy kind of. He's kind of cool on that side there. I think the ones I did before that I've done videos on, I, I guarantee you I didn't do dirty pores on. I just squirted paint. And there's going to be a bunch of paint because this scapula is holding on to it. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I guess beauty's in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Definitely a lot of paint. Slowly dripping down. This one's kind of cool here. I'm going to have to tip it because I don't like that so much. Let's give it a tip and see what we get. There's lots of where they fit, like tree ringy looking stuff where they hit and I may leave it to sit I'm dripping paint on my floor actually I'm pretty happy with this melted mess so we'll let it sit a while and uh, see what we get Should continue to see that's got. Look me, add more. Always, always add more. A little bit more <clears throat> of the red. Pour some of that on here. See how that'll mix in. See what we got. It just moves everything off. I think I'm done. I think it's pretty cool. A little bit on the tip there. Of course, I hit my thingy. That's normal for me. Oh, 
a little brow bone right here that needs some stuff on there. All right, well, I think I'm quitting. And I think it's going to do, I think they maybe do some little bit of a, I don't know, silicone's really not doing anything, but I wonder if I torch it some, if it would help. Uh, I'm going to shut you off, and I'm going to go get my torch, and I'm going to torch it just a tad. All right, so let's torch it here a little bit and see what we get. I need to turn it up a little bit. Uh-oh, it turned it off all the way. Okay. I need to torch it here and see if anything, if anything happens. Oh, well, maybe so. Look. Besides melting and stuff. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's what it needed was some torching. Well, I'm going to let it sit. And then we will take some pictures of it, some close-ups, and see what we can see. And do something with my dog. All right. I think that's it for now. I'm going to let it sit, let it develop. It looks like I've got some really, really good... Um, uh, I wonder if I can zoom this in for you. Some really good. Let's see if we can zoom it in. Maybe. I don't know. It's not very good zoomed in. This camera just doesn't like it. But I'll make sure I take some pictures. So you can see. Alright. Uh, that's it for now.